guys, Dr. Dean Ice Beaujolais here, solar powered and energized by the SON. Welcome to Wisdom Wednesday. So the other day I was at church, um, it was actually just a few days ago, and the guy at church, I noticed he had some glasses in his front pocket and I was like, why do you have your glasses there? He's like, you know, well, I need to wear glasses and I need, to, need them to see distance vision but I don't keep them on my face all the time. Hmm, that sounded familiar because it reminded me of a time back when I was 17 years old. I was at Florida a and University and I was in Diamond. Is that the name of our dorm? I can't remember, but where my window was, I could look out on the set. That's where everybody hung out, right where the bookstore was. I could look out and I could see everything. But one day I was looking out couldn't see nothing. The clock that I used to be able to see and tell the time, I could not see it. I couldn't see the people. I couldn't see the clothes that them guys was wearing because you know those New York, New York boys were kind of fly. <laughs> I couldn't see nothing. So I went home for Christmas and sure enough, the eye doctor appointment confirmed what I thought. My vision was gone. I had to start wearing glasses. But not really because it was really my backpack that was wearing the glasses or my car because what I did was I got two pairs of glasses anytime I was in class I put my little glasses on they were aviator shapes and when I was done I put them in a little case and stuck them in my backpack I still actually have that backpack to this day leather anyway and then if I was driving my car I put, pulled out my little burgundy shades one glasses that I got prescription glasses and put them on so I could drive and when I was done I put them back in their case and left them right in the car that was me it took me a while it took me about five years before I was just like you know what I'm a glasses wearer and I accept it <laughs> look guys change is gonna happen and when it does sit down and give yourself a time limit to accept it also write down three strategies that you can do during that time to be able to accept the change wisdom understands that like it or not change is gonna happen and you can't go back and get things back the same once the change has happened, change is just different. And even if you could go back, go back, guess what? It still wouldn't be the same. Cause that's why it's called change. So you, what you do is you take the time to get your, wrap your mind around the situation to adjust your mind and your life to this change. And then you can get to the point of acceptance. Hopefully not five years, but you get to the point of acceptance because guess what? When you reach that point of acceptance, that is where you can work on changing the change if you really think you need to change it anyway. Y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, then there is stupidness. A change happens. They're so devastated and they can't stand it. So they start binge watching Back to the Future, trying to go back in time so they can figure out a plan and a strategy to not accept the change, to go back and fix it. It's not going to happen. Change is a change. Onward ever, backwards never. Anyway, guys, there you have it. Wisdom, stupidness. Choose wisdom. Hey, let me know in the comment section below how you adjust your life to change, how you accept it, the steps that you go through with accepting a change. Let me know in the comment section below, okay? All right, remember, show me your brightest. Show me your best. Show me the latest guru. God's wisdom lets theirs look like stupidness. If you liked it, like it. If you learned something, subscribe. And if you loved it, share. Bye, guys.